Welcome to our latest listing. And this property is absolutely magnificent. I cannot wait to show it to you. It is probably the most exquisite interior design and also style of house that I've seen in a very long time. And I see a lot of very special houses. We are very close to Hati Piersport Dam. In fact, we're going to see it from the roof of this house. It is literally a stone's throw away. So we've got the Mahalis Mountains, we have the dam, it's the water, the mountain. We start seeing the theme of the water, the rock and all the organic elements of nature straight from our entrance. And what an entrance this is. Triple volume, as you can see, with also an amazing chandelier suspended above the triple volume. And you will notice this exclusive estate, all of the homes are with thatch roof. However, the interior of this house is all ceilings. So we only have the thatch roof for the look and for the ambience. But at the end of the day, you're getting an amazing home with full ceilings inside. From the massive entrance with plenty of space for the vehicles, you will see we have water features and the water is surrounding the entire house. So we hear the water element, very feng shui, very zen. And we also see it, so it's visually very pleasing. We're entering into, again, a triple volume entrance. So right above us, another custom-made chandelier giving us this uh, beautiful soft light. Uh, we are now heading for the sunset, so it's very much soft lighting throughout the space. The flooring is solid oak wood flooring. And what I love about the entrance is immediately your eye is drawn to this custom-made double swing door. And that door opens into the courtyard with yet another beautiful water feature. And we'll explore the courtyard shortly. But just to catch our bearings, what we've got here is doors on both sides. They lead to three of the garages. Double garage on the left, single garage on the right, and it's kind of an extra depth garage as well. And then we have a guest toilet. And usually I won't start with that, but this is such an awesome feature. The guest toilet has uh, imported custom-made wallpaper that is made out of wood bark. So very organic, you've got the green in the background, you've got the wood bark outside. So it just gives you a taste of what is to come with this house and what more we are going to be able to see as we go along. The house, all the furniture that you see, all the artwork can be sold with the house, over and above of course. So this is something very important because I know when we see a big property like this, people get a little bit overwhelmed and wonder how am I going to furnish this? Well, this is custom made furniture. It fits really beautifully. So buy the furniture as well, why not? Because we are in a very, very big garden space, we want to bring nature in from every single direction. So there are a lot of windows, folding doors throughout the space and they're especially UV treated. So you don't get very harsh sun during the day and you still enjoy seeing the garden and the nature around you. We've stepped from the triple volume entrance hall into the formal lounge area and you can see immediately the ceiling is recessed which really makes it nice and cozy and it gives it another element of uh, 3D effect and just a very comfortable welcoming space. From the lounge area, stepping into the bar area, again everything here is bespoke, custom made, this entire bar counter is a massive entire plank of wood. There's built-in fridges underneath. And of course, you absolutely have to have this wine cellar within an arm's length. It is air conditioned and it does have plenty of space for your wines and your priced liquor. The entire design, the, the, the whole look and feel of this property is nature, it's organic, and it's also a mixture of Asian and African styles, but done in a super contemporary way. So everything here is modern, contemporary, yet timeless, and extremely unique. 
and very interesting. Every single room, there are so many elements that I can look at and absolutely enjoy and see the thought that's gone into it. You've got your swivel chairs here. If someone is cooking in the kitchen, you can literally just swivel your chair and chat to your host. You've got a lot of artwork that just belongs to the space. It uh, fits the space beautifully. And again, it gives you that 3D effect over and above all the wallpaper that we have seen. We have curtains that are custom designed in different colors, in different textures, again, fitting the place beautifully. The blue here is picked up by the blue of the swimming pool. How amazing is that? We're walking on these solid wood floors. The entire house has a central vacuum system as well as underfloor heating. So you can warm up your space very well in winter time. And because of all the opening windows and doors, you can cool off your space beautifully in summer. 12-seater dining room table. And I love the fact that they've brought in fun colors into the space here. So it is a formal dining room table. It's a very formal setting. But with the introduction of the color and the plush element, it also puts you at ease immediately. Great feature. We have fireplaces on both ends of the lounge. And these are ethanol fireplaces. So very easy to maintain. You just pour some of the liquid and you sort it. No need for any piping, any gas and so on. And of course, the chef of the kitchen has to be on the pedestal. So we are elevated above the lounge area and the dining room and you can reign supreme in the kitchen. Massive kitchen, massive countertop, waterfall, Caesar stone, and all Mille appliances. Of course, it has to be Mille with the quality and the style of this house. Only the best will do. So we've got our fridges. We have our Mille gas top um, induction. We have a grill. We have ovens here, microwave warmer drawers for cups as well as for dishes, coffee machine, you think of it and you've got it. Those two cupboards there, this is for some of your crockery and across similar style, just to show you how they keep the style really everything in line with each other, this is your pantry. And just a point, you have a scullery from the kitchen and this uh, scullery door also can lead you to a separate laundry room. So you don't have the scullery and the laundry together. You're keeping the laundry separate and we'll have a look at the laundry room shortly. Let's first focus on all the important elements and there's so much. Let's now step out into the entertainment space. All of the doors fold open. So from your dining room, from the lounge, we can step out into the pool area and right across us is another entertainment space and we're going to head for it right now. 12 meter length swimming, swimming pool, 12 by four. Great feature, what they've done is they've built in a seat inside. So they, there is a step along the entire length of the pool. You can suntan, you can lie on it, you can sit on it and sip your cocktails and just enjoy the breathtaking nature that is surrounding us. There is yet another water feature. So again, the pool is nice and calm, but we have the sound and the look of this gorgeous water right next to the pool area. Massive decking space and another dining room table here. Dine under the stars or during the day in winter time, stunning space. So what a great idea to have a separate entertainment area. So we already have two lounges across the other side next to the entrance. Now we're entering the entertainment area where I would say maybe you can get noisier, maybe you can relax even further and incorporate some games as well as movie watching. So we've now stepped into it, custom made pool table and another lounge area. All of them, there is a TV, but all of them also looking out into the cinema room that we're going to have a look at shortly. They've also included another bar section here. And I can just imagine some of us would like to swim, some of us would like to sit, but still be able to talk to our friends in the swimming pool or even have the direct line of communication with the kitchen space so we can 
you know, possibly call for some sandwiches <laughs> across the hall. Lounge area and right next to the lounge is the cinema room. The cinema room has eight seater and these are all reclining chairs, soft carpet and absolutely magnificent textured suede effect material on the walls. This is uh, textile wallpaper. You just want to feel it and uh, just touch how, how soft it is. And you can also make shapes. You can write your name, I guess. Air conditioned. And the, the, the flooring in this uh, living room is screed. And it makes perfect sense because the idea is that from the swimming pool area, from the decking area, you can run in here and not worry about wet feet and about damaging your wooden floors. So again, so much thought has been put into this. In line with uh, say, talking about the Asian, the African style, I just want to point out a uh, leather wallpaper. And they've also used this antique cabinet to design the sink and the Caesar stone countertop on top. So again, we're bringing the wood, the Caesar stone, we're bringing some glass, we're bringing yet another texture being the leather. This is a very, very special home. So where from here, where to from here, let's step into the office space. This home office is definitely going to inspire me to sit and do all my admin, if I had one of those. Sliding windows, and you can call them a window, but you can step right outside and go and sit under the trees and have your cup of coffee. Built in desks and currently they're one to three desks with a small boardroom table as well as a couch very cleverly designed sliding doors so this will hide all of your admin work and all your paperwork and then again windows looking out into the swimming pool area so you never feel separated from the rest of the house you're still part of the house but you can close the door and you can work here in absolute peace and quiet, stunning space. And now I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the stairs up and we're going to have a look at the bedrooms. And a very nice feature of this house is the fact that you have three bedrooms in the main house, all of them en suite. And then we also have a two bedroom cottage, separate but also part of the house. We're going to see it shortly. But before we do that, let's go gymming. So this gym room is situated right above the entertainment and the cinema room downstairs. So again, we have our windows folding open. We have a massive window looking into the trees. And then we have a mirror wall so we can gym properly and make sure our form is proper. We also have a six-seater steam room that also comes equipped with showers, hot and cold shower. So we can have a look. And because these owners have thought of everything when they designed the house, we have the composite flooring, so it's non-slip. Very nice, very clever design. And this gym room is really fully kitted out. In fact, it's quite incredible for a home gym. It uh, looks like a proper professional gym. And immediately across from the gym room, is uh, the toilet very nice thought and another very interesting effect here with the black and the silver on the walls it picks up from the whole gym theme with the black and silver and it brings another modern element what's great is this entire section here can be accessed from upstairs as well as from downstairs by creating this runway bridge that connects the gym plus the cinema room with the upstairs, the bedroom section. Whilst we're going up, just look at the stunning courtyard. Is the water feature that I was talking about right next to the pool area. And we're going to see the second water feature and, and courtyard that is right outside of the entrance hall. So what we have done now is we are about to enter, or we've entered, the main bedroom suite. So because of that, I think we need to just take a quick walk down the runway and we do this properly because it is really worth seeing the right way. This is our entrance right there. Then we have the same oak wooden flooring and we step up onto travertine flooring and this now takes us first to the main suite and then we're going to head on to see the, the two other bedrooms. So let's take 
a look at the main suite first. Double doors swing open and bring us into the main suite. This is the courtyard that we saw from the main entrance. From those special custom made doors that swing open, we have the rock steps, the water feature, nice and tranquil. We have probably the biggest sand zen garden. You just want to go in and rake a little bit and relax. And then we have this runway walkway into the main bedroom. Again, wallpaper. This one, again, 3D effect, really nice to the touch. And then what we saw right in front of us was the walkway to the gym area. Now we're going to enter the bedroom. Plush, gorgeous, lush carpet, huge bedroom. We see the wallpaper again. We have another feature wall wallpaper in shades of gray. We have a feature headboard, specially custom designed to fit this luxurious massive bed, nice and soft. And it's also with that leather effect. And the entire bedroom looks out onto a humongous patio. And by the way, all of the balconies and um, our, our upstairs patios have this French travertine flooring. So this is um, half, I, I would say, not the completely smooth travertine tiles. It has again the 3D effect, so it's beautiful to the touch. And imagine walking barefoot here, because this is really what you want to do, is you want to feel nature everywhere you go in this house. And we look out onto our gorgeous garden, all indigenous trees. So even though it is winter, you can see it's nice and green. And another very good feature of this estate is that everything is borehole water. So this entire property is using borehole water. It has filtration systems. It has double filtration system inside for inside the house for the, your fresh drinking water. And it also has a filtration system for the gray water. And then you do your irrigation with borehole water. So here's our massive patio. You can step out onto the outside balcony from the bedroom as well as from your bathroom. And just imagine yourself lying in the bath, looking out onto the absolutely amazing greenery. There is a double shower and of course double basin and very specially designed cabinetry that fits in with the bathroom just to give you this extra storage space. Everything that belongs in the bathroom can stay here. No need to go anywhere else. Very nice feature of the shower, and we're going to see it with the rest of the showers as well, is uh, this uh, beautiful cladding. There's some pebbles here. So, you know, it just reminds you of the water. We are in the shower after all. And we also have this giraffe effect rock on the other side. Separate toilet and a bidet. And as much as we all love open plan bathrooms, we are grateful when we have a separate toilet and bidet. And let's step out again, because we're not finished with the main suite. What is really an awesome feature here is that from your main suite, you can go out onto the balcony and from the balcony, we can go even further up because we did say we're next to Hearty Pierce for them. We need to see the water and see how close we are. So this beautiful deck is accessible from your bedroom and you can see the dam from the top here. So imagine in the night, you're just relaxing under the stars. You can see the water and all you hear is the bird life and all you see is the trees and the sky. This estate uh, has wildlife as well. So you can see zebra when you go for a walk and various other antelopes. It's a great feel of being in nature, being in the bush while still being an hour away from Santon. It's quite amazing. The main house, as well as the gym area, all comes with um, automated sound and lights. So you really don't, uh, it's a big house. You don't have to walk a distance to uh, put your lights on. And for such a, an amazing main suite, you do need also a walk-in closet. The center aisle is all shoes. They're specially designed cabinets with drawers inside for to house a lot of shoes. Of course, you also have a lot of cabinetry around you. 
and you have a special sliding door hidden man cave because this is definitely his from what I can see. Very luxurious, immediately puts you in mind of a boutique hotel of the most exclusive type. And now let's step out of this main suite and head for the other bedrooms. Now I just want to point out how they've also brought the natural elements. If you look up, you've got the cement slab and we have those ceilings downstairs as well as upstairs. So they have kept the cement exposed but they did paint over it. So it is not too industrial, yet it is still very contemporary. This uh, bench is designed to sit here and contemplate, maybe meditate, maybe just relax and think of the days ahead whilst enjoying the look of the running water. Now we are across from the entrance on the other side of the house where there are two more bedrooms. Again, just to point out windows looking out into the courtyard as well as bringing natural light from outside. So now we're in bedroom number two that we have seen so far. Absolutely stunning. The artwork on the wall just goes with the headboard and also goes with another really stunning feature wall with, um, uh, with the suede effect. So again, invites you to touch it and feel the different textures. Own balcony. Every single bedroom has its own balcony or its own little courtyard downstairs that we're going to see. And we're looking at another water feature. And this one is a contemplation water feature. So it is completely relaxing. The cabinetry is just exquisite. And this is all super matte in very subdued gray shade because the cabinets and the wall don't want to take away from the quality of the finishes as well as the artwork. So here again, we have that giraffe cladding. It's a really nice texture. Double basin, more cupboards for storage in the bathroom and a shower with the pebble effect on the walls. All travertine. Even the doors are extra height and custom made. Everything in this house has a purpose and has its place. Another stunning feature. And now we're entering the third bedroom. Another magnificent bedroom. This is the zebra bedroom. So we're bringing a, a bit of blacks and whites in terms of the design and the interior pieces. You can see the seat, it's really stunning. They've done this Asian style cabinet with the black seat, so super modern, but at the same time, it's using antique looking and very arty looking furniture. We've got our open plan shower, double basin again, and tucked around the corner is another feature toilet. Even the toilets in this uh, a magnificent home are all really unique and really special. So just look at what this wallpaper is like. I'll probably just sit here and just rub the wallpaper all the time. Never mind scrolling through Facebook. You want to sit and scroll through the wallpaper. And again, we step out onto the private balcony for this particular bedroom. And we're looking at the trees and all we hear is nature. Being an exclusive estate on the banks of Hatipiaspo Dam, you also have storage for your boat and you have your own access to the dam from the estate. The estate also comes with a clubhouse it's uh, got plenty of walking and uh, you know space just to uh, relax and use uh, the nature surrounding in a very safe environment okay so just a quick recap from the stairs immediately next to us to the left would have been the main bedroom and then we walk across a bridge to two bedrooms ensuite with showers and now we have stairs leading down to the cottage, which I mentioned can be a guest cottage with its own completely separate entrance and garage, but it is also accessible from inside the house. So if you have a large family and you do need all five bedrooms, it's all part of the house. Absolutely no need to keep it separate. So we've come down the staircase, the same oak flooring that we saw, beautiful library to display your artwork and your books. And now we've walked into the cottage, which is yet another lounge area, stunningly furnished, sliding windows, 
looking out onto the contemplation water feature. And then there is the kitchen with built-in appliances again. So if this is for someone who wants to stay here long term, maybe a family member that just won't leave, or guests that you want to make as comfortable as possible, they have their own kitchen and they have their own dining room set up. So this is a completely independent space. We're bringing the garden and the outdoors in from here as well. Same travertine floors that we saw uh, throughout the rest of the house where there isn't the oak. And now this is where that laundry room is that I mentioned. And it is right next to the scullery of the main house. Separate laundry room, nice, fresh, clean, dedicated just to your fresh laundry. Now bedroom number one for the cottage. So this is now the fourth bedroom. Another magnificent room, freestanding bath, capitalizing on the view from the garden and the water outside. Absolutely magnificent feature. You've got also the handheld shower. You have the sheer curtains and you have this massive bedroom with a king size bed, lots of cupboard space, specially designed drawers even for your belts and ties, everything you can imagine. And then this is ensuite. We already saw the bath, double basin and additional storage with uh, the cupboards inside the bathroom. This is bedroom number five that we have seen all together or the second bedroom in the cottage. Look at this. This is what people pay thousands and thousands of rands to have a romantic evening out in a boutique hotel. This is, they call the honeymoon suite for a reason. You do feel like you absolutely have to have your honeymoon here. And if you don't have a honeymoon, you feel like a new honeymoon starts again. You're looking out onto this amazing freestanding bath, just the chandelier above the bath. It just speaks luxury and uh, it's very romantic. Double basins again. And what we've got out here is wood, these steps leading you out onto your own private corner here. There's the rock again, the steel. We have the glass, we have the water, nature, together with amazing architecture, amazing interior design at its best. With the shower, we again have that pebble effect. And we have another luxurious toilet here with the black wallpaper and the black and uh, I would say beige chandelier. Again, very luxurious space. And now we're going to step outside of the cottage and just take in how you would enter the cottage if it wasn't part of the house, but you maybe had invited a family member to come and stay longer term with you. And just a quick note on the estate, there's about just over 40 stands in total, about 38 houses built. So the estate is almost fully completed. It comes with access to the dam. It, it comes with your boat space and it comes with all this nature, part of your space. So the driveway goes all around. So if you have many guests, you can park a lot of cars in here, but it's also super easy to drive around in and out. And then we have a garage right here, which is the fourth garage that has direct access into the cottage. And right next to the garage, there is also that pathway that can lead you into the cottage if you are a guest of the cottage without being rained on, for example, if it happens to be raining. But I want to enter the cottage from this side because this is really the most beautiful part of it. Once again, one water feature steps above it from this, um, it looks like um, sleeper wood. It's really solid, thick wood pieces that are situated just above the water. Here is the door to the garage. So it has its own entrance. We see the same effect of the, uh, the ceilings. And then we enter the living space where we've just been. And then we do the whole tour of the cottage. And immediately to the left is the staircase leading into the upstairs of the house where we've just come from.
for a property of that size, this house is 1,200 square meters. The entire land is about 7,000 square meters. So this is a massive property. So we definitely also need space for support staff. So let's just walk around the exterior and see what this property has to offer. 7,000 is just under a hectare. They've designed the garden to fit in with the organic feel of the property. At the same time, it is very much in line with the bush feel. So it is a lot of bush. As you can see, there's uh, all indigenous trees. Almost feels like you are in Kruger Park. And of course, this is also helps to see all these wild animals. Okay, so we've now walked around the exterior and nice and private, tucked away to the one side with its own entrance for the, from the front is the staff cottage. Two bedrooms, lounge and kitchen and the dining room. It is so cute. It is so beautiful. And once again, what we now gotten used to, windows looking out into the beautiful nature and the bush and also the stream because this property borders on a stream and this stream goes along the one length of the property. Here is the lounge area again in those nice soft grays and whites and then this is bedroom number one with a lot of cupboard space, sliding doors so it's very cozy and again folding windows into the garden. Then we've got bedroom number two really nice space and then we've got the bathroom the flooring here is uh, discreet flooring it's painted screed so it's very soft and it's warmer in winter but of course it allows you to just relax and not worry about wooden floors as well and now we're going to walk a little bit of the exterior of the house just to see what else it has to offer so this gorgeous boma area and uh, it is literally just outside of the study and the entertainment side of the property just to put it in perspective that table is the table that we saw from the home office this is the table that invites you to go and just take a break and have a cup of coffee before you step over the window back into your office space and now we are stepping into the pool area this is just behind the pool area. You can access it from the scullery section as well as from your kitchen. So as big as this property is, you have access to every single room and every single entertainment area from just about every corner of the property. We're walking again the length of the pool. We're looking at the decking again. Those really divine chairs I've not seen chairs like this uh, those pool lounges are really stunning we have of course the most important creatures in this property this gorgeous fluffster there's two more of them hopefully they'll come and join us on the tour there is an outdoor shower as well and then let's just take it all in this is by the way the fence has just been put in here to allow the doggies to just relax and enjoy their space but this is the stream that you can see from the edge of your property and some beautifully landscaped parts of the house where the doggies or where we imagine families and friends can congregate. And just to take the house in while we're here, this is the main suite. So this is your main bedroom. This is your main bathroom. And these are your folding doors leading you into the formal lounge and dining room area really magnificent property and tucked out of the way just behind some fencing is your filtration systems your water purification there's a generator that can pretty much run the whole estate a diesel generator and so on but you see none of that you just see the magnificent beauty of this property and uh, you can't just help but fall in love and want to stay here for as long as you possibly can or get invited as a guest so if you're interested in an exclusive exquisite masterpiece such as this give me a call we can talk we're standing outside of the clubhouse and this clubhouse is accessible 
by all owners of the property and it is overlooking the dam and you just you have your keys so you can book it with the estate manager because there is an estate manager here and now we're going to go into just to have a look at what else is on offer this is what it's all about absolutely magnificent the dam i see some fish are rising to the surface we framed by the mountains this is the swimming pool for the clubhouse it's a seating area and an entire entertainment area if you have massive parties you can be here far away and look at this here is the dam there is also a tennis court just literally 50 meters down through the bush and here is the jetty and of course this exclusive estate has its own boat launch onto Hartipiusport Dam. There's some pathways you can jog, you can ride your bike here. There's an adjacent also game reserve so easily accessible from where you are. What's not to love? Pure perfection in the truly most beautiful house in the area. In fact, arguably one of the most beautiful houses in South Africa.